mendengar istilah palpitasi jantung? Palpitasi jantung adalah kondisi di mana jantung kita berdetak secara tidak normal. Terus kalau deg-degan pas ketemu doi itu termasuk palpitasi jantung atau bukan ya dok? Ya jelas bukan dong, itu karena kamu lagi grogi aja mau ketemu dia. Nah, kondisi palpitasi jantung ini bukanlah hal yang bisa kita remehkan karena dapat menyebabkan penyakit jantung lain yang lebih serius. Lalu, apa sebenarnya yang akan kita rasakan ketika mengalami palpitasi jantung? Begini penjelasan dari Dr. Devin Dersing. So, when we say palpitation, It means that sensation of feeling your own heartbeat. That means uh, abnormal sensation when you start feeling your heartbeat when you are not supposed to. Palpitation can feel like a flutter or pounding. It can feel like a thud. It can feel like a movement in your chest that that might last for a few seconds or sometimes it can last longer than seconds, can last for minutes or some. And very rarely, palpitation can occur for hours. Now, you may feel palpitation in your neck sometimes or throat. And if you are lying down, you may be able to feel palpitation in your ear. And uh, palpitation are one of the most common presentation to a GP or a general physician. And it approximately 16% of Patients going to GP or general practitioner uh, are complaining of palpitation when they see doctor. And this is the second most common presentation to cardiologist after chest pain. So chest pain is the most common cardiac symptoms. But after chest pain, palpitation is the second most common presentation to a cardiologist. Lalu mengapa seseorang bisa mengalami palpitasi jantung? Pengen tahu jawabannya? One of the most common cause is heart rhythm problem. The second common cause is anxiety or related to uh, our anxiety level or we, we also call it psychogenic causes. And sometimes in spite of all tests, We are not able to find exactly why a person feel palpitation. Terus kalau gangguan irama jantung itu jenisnya ada apa saja ya? Dan apakah itu berbahaya? Berikut penjelasan Dr. Devin Dersing. Different types of arrhythmias. The arrhythmias arising from the top chamber of your heart. are called supraventricular tachycardias. So there are different types, although these are all medical names, but the, uh, the common ca- uh, cause for heartbeat problem arising from the top chambers of your heart are called supraventricular tachycardias. So there are, the, the are rhythm problems like AVNRT, AVRT, atrial tachycardia, atrial flutter, or atrial fibrillation. These are the rhythm problem com- arising from the top two chambers of your heart. Later, the arrhythmias arising from the bottom chamber of your heart are called ventricular tachycardias. Ventricular tachycardia, because it arises from the bottom chamber of your heart, which is your muscular chamber, sometimes can be life-threatening or dangerous and can lead to sudden cardiac arrest or collapse. And uh, one of the reason to die suddenly from symptoms The, football, the soccer player we saw in the beginning had ventricular tachycardia. That means rhythm uh, problem arising from the bottom chamber of the heart. So these are certain examples of rhythm problem arising from the bottom chambers of your heart. There are other rhythm problems which are called bradycardia. Bradycardia is a rhythm problem where your heartbeat is actually not too fast, but it is too slow. Uh, normal heartbeat at rest ranges from 50 to 100 beats per minute but when your heartbeat goes below 
it, it, it becomes too slow. And uh, there are different types of slow heart rhythm problem that can make your heart go so slow that sometimes you can faint or lose consciousness. The reason is when your heart is beating too slow, there is not enough blood going to your brain, which causes giddiness or fainting. Effect.